ご覧のスポンサーの提供でお送りします。What's up, dudes and dudes, kids and grown ups, whoever you might be, welcome back to the channel. As always, it's yours truly here again, Sugi Khan, the MOBA expert. And today, I will be giving my first impression slash a review on the day online closed beta, which started today on Steam. And they had this Google form which was linked to their Steam page where they would be、uh, open for beta signups. And I think they're still taking people to the beta. So I'm gonna put that Google link down below in the description and you can sign it up. And it probably will be eventually invited to the beta. Currently, it's unknown when the game will be at open beta and also will it be free to play or pay to play. Um, I probably bet it's gonna be a free to play game. It wouldn't make a lot of sense if it was to play to play、uh, based on how much content is right now inside the game.、Um, it is developed and published by Reloaded Studios, which is a Korean company. And currently, there is a、uh, closed beta going on on the American servers and also on the Korean servers where、uh, the studio is located. The game was already released in Korea some time ago. I'm not sure by which platform. And probably not Steam though. I, that's, that's how I, I think so, at least. And it has been, it been released in Korea for some time. I'm not sure. Is it on beta there? Open beta? Closed beta? I don't really know. But I know the game is partly in Korean still.、Um, the game has been translated into English. But、um, all of the audio voice actors are in Korean. Some of them s- sounded like Chinese. Um, I'm not really 100% sure about that, but I'm pretty sure they're all in Korean.、Um, I have seen a couple of other cases with these Asian games where there h a s been like mixed audios, which are really weird to me, to be honest, and so on. But let's talk about what is the game exactly about. So it is a pretty much a 3D arena MOBA game, more leaning towards the arena. You don't really have any like minions or anything on the map. Uh, the games are, you know, 5 versus 5 or 3 versus 3, and there's some like mixed modes in between. And there are some different game objectives. I didn't have the chance to play all the modes because, well, there just wasn't enough people to, you know, queue. And I literally sat in th- 30 minutes to wait to get onto the 5v5. Eventually, I got into the 3v3 mode, and it pretty much was like this sort of a dungeon where. Essentially, you know, you. It was like an arena style, but you had like objectives on like these neutral creeps which you would destroy, and they would like drop these like energy balls which you have to like carry on to your base. So there's a bit of like a capture the flag type of element, I would say. And eventually, the team would, who would receive like six points in together, combined by those neutral creeps and also by kills. Um, would eventually win.、Um, there would be like this timer where the enemy team would have to like do something in what was it like、uh, 200 seconds or something. And、uh, all, or if the enemy team is also able to reach six points, then it will be just sort of a show off which would destroy the base. And there's like towers and、uh, shields, and there are like these, you know, bases essentially. So there are these that are classic、uh, MOBA type of elements which. Go into this sort of resource battle type of a game mode, and then there's the downtown, which is about like managing the strategic locations over the map. You know, I mean, even these sort of like a capture the capture the point type of maps, they do, you know, they are very MOBA esque type of elements. Not every MOBA has to be about destroying the inhibitor or, I mean, destroying the fucking nexus, so to speak. So It's kind of refreshing to see these type of game modes explored in the mobile market a lot. But in its heart, I think it's an arena game. There isn't really a lot of like,、uh, progression on the game. You can change your characters middle of the time. There are like, three archetypes support, tanks, and DPS. And almost every character has like, a range mode and shield mode, and which have like, different cooldowns and shields they can use.、Um, most of the characters seem to be quite similar to each other.、Um, there's around, I want to say, maybe. 25 characters perhaps by max, and also you can like buy skins in the game, like you know, different type of headpieces,、uh, guns, and like outfits and stuff. I didn't look into 
um, the prices because I wasn't really interested in that. And uh, but um, there doesn't seem to be any type of like in-game leveling. Also, there's no progression system in the game, so it's really um, kind of reminds me of the Archblade game, Archblade, what was it called? I mean, in a similar fashion, like it's just kind of going into the game over a game. And if there's no like proper progression, like people are not gonna play it um, because I didn't find it like that super fun to play. Um, the animations and the movements were pretty smooth. They were like kiting and stuff. So I gotta give it that. That was like okay. The graphics they were fine. You know, it's on Korean level to make it kind of like super accessible as possible for everyone, especially on the Asian market. You usually don't aim for high graphics because then nobody's able to run the game on their PCs. Because, you know, generally people have a bit lower end PCs in Asia versus that in the West. And then there's also Survive Mode, which is sort of like a Last Man Standing Templar PvP Arena. And there, there, there's also like a lobby where you go in. Um, and also, I'm not really sure if their controller support it would be kind of actually pretty neat on this game. There are some settings where you can uh, like adjust a bit the graphics and resolutions and windowed mode and that stuff, but not so much. I mean, it's very, very, very basic. And usually that seems to be a bit of a thing with these MOBA games that they don't really put that much effort into type of settings. I mean, you should always have the option to switch off the shadows or something like that because people like to stream the game or record the game. Um, during the recording material that you're seeing right now, there isn't really a lot of frame drops. Um, I had probably over 70. I think I had like 60 FPS while recording and like 80 to 90 while I was playing without the recorder OBS that is. And I, in the end of the day, I think it wasn't that bad of a game. It was okay, but I think it could like need a massive overhaul to become a successful game. And people probably will play it with a week or two and then they will stop. There has to be a progressive system in these type of games because otherwise it's just a, the same thing over and over again even though there might be like three to four modes inside. And also, please add bots during the beta because nobody don't want, nobody wants to be in queue, really. They really don't want to be in queue uh, for 30 minutes. That is an undeal as, as hell. So that's pretty much what I got to say about the game. You know, I run well, you know, I don't really have a lot of problems, but you know, Historically, these Asian ports, Asian devs coming to the Steam, um, there have always been language barriers, and maybe they have a, in Korea they have a very, very different gaming development philosophy and culture, and they don't. It's just not similar to how it's in the West. Um, they tend to be, how should I say, like if the money is not pouring in, they're probably not going to work at all. It's just that's that's what I've heard and talked to other people about it. But that's pretty much sums it up my thoughts about the day online. I'm not gonna drag the video any longer. Um, you wanna subscribe probably right now because there's gonna be other, um, you know, videos about different mobile games and arena games on the channel. I will be doing a full review on the game once it um, goes out of the closed beta and open beta phase because I give them time to improve the game and fix some things. Especially the player base has to be bigger than this because I'm not gonna wait 30 minutes for one game Thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time on the next video. Cheers